special referees new this year. Um, with yes. the special guest referee match, what can fans expect when they play as the referee, and how far can they go in terms of interfering in the match before they get replaced? Uh, yeah, special referee is back uh, after a lot of fan you know demand. Uh, we've given them the special referee match. As you know, it was in the games uh, previously, but we brought it back. You know, bigger, better, better. If I could steal our our slogan from last year's game, and uh, it's a it's a markedly you know improved uh, effort. Um, the special referee, you know, playing as him, you know, you're given a lot of opportunities to kind of meddle and interfere in the match. I mean, obviously, you're going to be in charge at playing as special referee. You'll be in charge of counting pinfalls, countouts, uh, checking on submissions. And the way that the match works is that the special referee, uh, for lack of a better word, has a uh, referee meter that starts out in the middle point when you first start the match. And as you officiate, depending on the action that you take, it'll either accumulate or it'll decrease. You know, calling the action down the middle and being impartial will allow your special referee meter to uh, to fill, uh, which will then, <laughs> as funny as it is, allow you to perform some pretty heinous actions, uh, such as being able to perform your finisher on an opponent, uh, or you know, I, I'm jumping to one of the other questions, but being able to even uh, perform like a screw job finish during submission holds. Uh, these are actions that you can that you can uh, take part in by building your referee meter to a certain point. Uh, conversely, if you're a, a bad ref, if you're you know not not, not counting pinfalls, you know not being attentive to submissions, uh, doing fast you know ring out counts, you'll see your meter start to gradually deplete. You can even you know physically engage with opponents, you know push them around. Uh, you can't actually grapple with them, but you can you know grab them and kind of shove them. Uh, and doing these actions will uh, well one will put the opponent at a disadvantage. Uh, with his with his legal opponent in the ring, and it'll also cause your meter to deplete. And once the meter completely depletes, you know John Laurinaitis will come out and uh, basically kick you out of the uh, of the match, and you'll be replaced with an actual uh, AI controlled referee. It's fun. I definitely balanced it so that it's not so you know uh, biased one way or the other. I mean, it's it's not you won't be in a situation where you know three minutes into a match you're going to be kicked out uh, of the match. You know, it's we tuned it. And to what I think is in a very nice way, where it has really good balance between you know being good, being bad, uh, before finally getting that ejection. The next question that I was asking in relation to it was, um, I think you mentioned it just before there, but can you call for the bell during a breaking point submission before the meet has actually filled up? Yes, you can. Yes, the infamous screw job. You can you can perform that uh, as a special referee. It's one of my my favorite uh, additions to the special referee match. It's uh, it's really cool, and the reaction that the superstars perform after they've been screwed over is pretty priceless, also. Uh, but yeah, as a special referee, you know you you have all the control, and uh, it's just one of the many things you can do. I mean, it, being able to count, you know, a pinfall really fast or slow, depending on how you're favoring, is one thing. But uh, I think you know being able to actually screw over an opponent who's in a, a submission hold just really is the icing on the cake. Uh, so it's a really cool thing, and it's and I've even played matches with the AI as a special referee during title matches, actually, and I've lost my title uh, because the referee has screwed me over. So uh, playing these matches, whether you're the special referee is, you know, is being played by a, a player or the AI, I just love, I love having the AI as special ref because it just adds an unpredictability to uh, the standard you know, matches, whether it be a normal one-on-one, a tag match. It just makes things all that much more exciting and unpredictable, which is what wrestling is all about, you know.